So as of the 29th of September this year, I am now 22 years old. To celebrate my birthday, my mum and my stepdad took me to two steam railways. It's almost like I enjoy seeing stuff to do with steam trains, I don't know, this is kind of a coincidence. It was a grand day out, and I managed to take some photos and videos of our visits. Here's how it went. So the first place we visited was the Carnforth Station Heritage Centre. It was a very quiet day, so my family and I were able to have a look around at our own pace. Turns out this railway has a significant connection to history. This station was featured in the 1945 film A Brief Encounter. The film focused on Laura Jessen, a married woman with children who meets another married stranger, Dr. Alec Harvey. Essentially, from just glancing at it, it's one of those two people already married falling in love with each other when they shouldn't type stories. Laura is in what feels like a dying marriage, Alec works at the local hospital so they see each other often during her visit to the town, they realise their affair can never work out so Laura has to return home to her husband. I I'm sure I'd have more to say about this film had I actually seen it. <laughs> Carnforth Station had a big presence in the film as a vast majority of scenes were shot here. Most famously, this shot of what I presume is Laura and Alex saying goodbye to each other. And the film has gone on record to be critically acclaimed as one of the greatest UK films in history, so good on Carnforth for having that to their name. And it wasn't just the film that held significance to the place either. There was a multitude of maps, relics of the railway past, and even a documentary looking into when steam engines used to run on the line. There was an engine museum there, but it had been closed off to the public as it was being used for a restoration project, which I couldn't find anything about online, but yeah, shame we didn't get to see any engines at this railway. It did have a very nice looking cafe though, as well as a shop packed with model trains and railway lines. Oh yeah, they also had some Thomas stuff, but what nerd would find that interesting, am I right? Wow! So, believe it or not, we just so happened to visit the Ribble Steam Railway towards the end of their autumn gala. I originally picked Carnforth over Ribble because I assumed that with there being a gala on, it would be a bit too crowded and noisy. But after not being able to check the engine museum at Carnforth and still having half the day left, we decided to try out the Ribble Railway anyway, and to my relief, it wasn't too noisy. We even managed to catch one of the special event trains just as we arrived. <laughs> Huh? Oh, no, I, I see him. After this journey, we got off and I went to take photos and videos of the engines themselves and boy, oh boy, were they beauties. My particular favourite was this one, a Manchester built tender engine from the Furness Railway. What a majestic sight it was.
After that, I took a wander around the museum where there were even more engines on display, each with their own bit of history or the types of jobs they used to do. My mum was particularly fond of this engine that worked at the Whittacombe Hospital, simply because of the photo of the hospital staff brewing beer in a hospital brewery. Life in the 1930s sure was crazy, wasn't it? So yeah, plenty of brilliant engines on display, though some were... Uh, unintentionally creepy. They even had maps on display, as well as models around the side of the museum. Oh yeah, they too had some Thomas stuff. I just took a few photos of that, you know, a couple, just not, not that many. A few, a few. This day out was both a nice break from university work, and a lovely way to celebrate my 22nd birthday with some of my family. Both this and the Audrey extravaganza in Wales not too long ago have given me the incentive to visit other famous steam railways and museums in the future, and I hope to vlog my experiences to share them with you all. With that said, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this, and I'll see you in a bit.